Let's type the text we want to convert to 3D. Set the type like this, align it in the middle and increase tracking a bit. Add a background of your choice. I chose a gradient. Let's change the color of type so it's visible on the background. Make a copy of text because we will convert this one into a shape to align it in exact center. Create a copy of the text and paste it on top of the text. Convert this into stroke, no fill, and change stroke settings like stroke size, corners, caps and stroke alignment to outside. Before making this into 3D, let's add some shapes to make it even more interesting. Overlap the text with shapes you like, and if same color is used as text it will merge in 3D and it becomes very unique. But you can skip this step as per your choice. Now before we go into 3D, it's very important to group these together otherwise every 3D shape discards any other object in its space and shadows do not work well. Finally, select the group and go to Effect, 3D and Materials and select Inflate. Wait for it complete an initial render. We'll change some settings here to make it look amazing. Head over to Lighting tab and turn on Shadows. Click on the drop down to enable ray tracing. This option is for the systems with a GPU. Select high option. From raster effects, select 300 in the drop down. It ensures a higher quality render. Now you're ready for the final render, just click render button. You're done. To make everything look nicer, I'll add a contrasting shape to highlight the render even more. You're free to choose anything here or skip it entirely. That's it, you created a very nice looking render within 5 minutes.